To do this job, you're going to be working around fuel or gasoline. Some basic safety precautions are mandatory. Always work in a well-ventilated area. Always wear gloves and eye protection. You should always have the proper fire extinguisher on hand and know how to use it. To access the fuel pump, you will need to remove the back seats. Please see the link at the end of this video on steps on how to do that. The fuel pump is located in the right side of the fuel tank. With the rear seat removed, you will see the access panel to the fuel pump on the right side. Remove the six 8mm screws, red arrow, one illustrated, holding it in place and gently pry up the panel. There is a small sticky gasket between the panel and the body of the car to help reduce noise and vibration, so don't clean that off. With the access panel off, you can see the locating cover and ring seal on the pump. There is a small arrow, red arrow, on the locating cover that will line up with a mark on the tank when you reinstall the pump. Use a large claw type wrench, red arrow, and remove the ring seal. It is on tight, and if you try and unscrew it by tapping the plastic notches with a flathead screwdriver, you will just shear off the notches. Remove the ring cover along with the shaped seal. Note how the two female ends in the cover mate with the two male ends in the pump, red arrows. Grasp the pump and lift it from the tank. Take care when you remove the pump and install the new one that you do not damage the fuel level unit, red arrow, attached to it. With the pump out of the fuel tank, remove the electrical connection, green arrow, supply line by squeezing the collar on the top and bottom where it attaches to the pump, blue arrow, and remove the return line, yellow arrow. Installation is the reverse of removal. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.